In this video, we're going to go over the NetFlow configuration for FTD. The way we would do this is through a flexconfig configuration. Now, flexconfig is where we would apply something via the Lina command line that's not available in the GUI yet. So it looks a lot like the ASA configuration, and we'd have to use it objects in order to create this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Objects, Object Management, and then we'll go to Flex Config Text Object and start here. So if you've scrolled down, actually I think it's on second page, you'll see the NetFlow parameters. So we're going to start out with this, and um, we would create three variables. As you can see here, uh, interface, destination, and uh, port. So I believe the interface we would actually do um, inside. Let me double check. I believe it's inside zone, um, the name of the interface. The destination, it would be going to our NetFlow collector. So that's, I have it configured for 10.1.100.51. And the UDP port is going to be 2055. So I'm just going to save that text object. And next, we're going to go ahead and configure the event types. Now, by default, it's got all of these in here. It won't work if you have all of them in there. I'm going to go ahead and just say all. That is, as you can see here, this variable defines the type of events to be exported for de the destination. It can be a subset of all, flow, create, flow, deny. There's no reason to have all of that. Just putting all in there is enough. The last thing uh, under the uh, text object is the NetFlow parameters. So as you can see here, the active refresh interval, which is the number of minutes, the uh, delay for the flow, cre uh, flow create in seconds, zero, and then the template timeout rate is the default is 30 minutes. We're going to bring that down. I'm going to put that at, as I said before, anything below five minutes. I'm just going to put that at three minutes for now. So now that we've created those, uh, those uh, text parameters, we're going to go ahead and go over to the flex config object. If you scroll down, there's a flex config object for add destination. So let's go ahead and copy this. This is going to be add destination and for stealth watch. And as you can see here, uh, NetFlow destination, that's from our inside, that's from our object before, um, that we, the text object, the event types, it's already there. So we'll save that. And let me see if there's anything else. And NetFlow uh, set parameters, and that's going to be for stealth watch. And those are for the parameters that we have here that we, the timeout rate. So we're going to go ahead and put that down too. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to devices and then flex config. And we're going to add a new flex config policy. So I'm going to do uh, security demo lab flex config. And we're going to add our FTD device to it. So give it a moment while it creates that policy. And we'll go ahead and add those NetFlow configurations that we want to configure. So you see the user defined ones. We'll go ahead and add that, both of them. And if you want to preview the configuration for what it would be uh, applying, you can see here that it's retrieving the command line information that's going to be pushing to the FTD device. Well, that was useful. <laughs> okay, and with that, we're going to go ahead and click Save and deploy that to our FTD device. If we wanted to see here what, what was changed, you can see here the flex config policy. So I'm gonna go ahead and click deploy. Oh. Yep, that's fine, proceed. We'll wait for this to finish deploying.
And just so we actually, while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and SSH over to the um, FTD device. Let me go ahead and change some settings really quickly here. Terminal font, so you guys can see. Oh. We're going to call this FTD. Yeah, it should be done now. So let's go ahead and show run. Let's see here. We should see the flow information he somewhat here. Okay, see the flow export destination and timeout rate. That's been applied already. Um, so that's good to see. And I do want, want to do the show running config again. Let's go ahead and show running config. And let's scroll up. We could probably find it all here, but I just want to double check. Flow export type. So it's flow export event type all destination 10.1.100.51. And going through here, we can also probably find the timeout rate, the timeout information. Okay, here we go. Timeout rate three. So our configuration was definitely applied. And let's go ahead and take a look at, see if the exporter has been showing, has shown up yet. There we go. That's the exporter for our FTD configuration. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and thank you so much for watching.